straitjackets were used in jails throughout the uh, 20th century, uh, from as particularly the first part of the 20th century. They were used in jails and prisons more than they were used in mental hospitals because people would often, who were mentally ill, would often show up at jail first. And so they were used. Um, we do have straitjackets at the Franklin County Jail, uh, historic jail, in where we uh, do some role playing. And uh, for you officers, uh, just know that they're right here in this closet. So they're in various different sizes, and and mo it's pretty basic how they we use them. But I'm going to ex we're going to explain how to uh, to do them. And uh, I have uh, Joseph Cock here, who's also going to help me with this. So. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about one of them and some techniques for uh, putting on a straitjacket. One thing that I will mention is that in role play, the straitjacket would not, for jail role play, the straitjacket would certainly not be the first go-to item um, because we're trying to do a realistic role play. However, if the role play is going in that direction where the person who is role playing pretends like they are mentally ill, then a straitjacket would be something that would be appropriate to use. If they're not going that way, don't use it. The only straitjackets that we would use for jail role playing would be an authentic canvas straitjacket. We would never <laughs> use something that would be used for fetish, such as a leather or rubber or something like that. Uh, we've got to keep this realistic and historical in nature. Uh, so, so here is uh, one of them. And, uh, we call this the monkey dungeon straitjacket because actually this one is uh, used for other things, but it's it's so close to being authentic that we we uh, go ahead and use this one because it is a canvas straitjacket. It has two crotch straps, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple buckling techniques before we actually put it on me. So so once you get the uh, straitjacket on the person, it's good to line up the buckles because a big mistake is that you start buckling the wrong buckle and then you're all the way down with the wrong buckle and then you're messed up. So, so uh, pay attention to which buckle is which and start with the second one, not the top one because this, adjusts the this will adjust the shoulders later. So the way these work, make sure that this is straight, not turned. Put it in between the bottom and see the teeth right there, you pull this way. Now if I stop at this point and don't do anything more, person is getting right out. It's going to slide right back. After you do that, you're going to take it, go through this end buckle piece. And because of the way it's sewn, it's a little tricky sometimes. Now the next thing you do is something people miss. This is you do, this you do um, if the person is is uh, overweight and doesn't fit the, the it very well, you can't do this. But if you if possible, pull this tight, then take this up and tuck it down underneath like that. I'm going to do another one so you get to see it. I'm going through, going through, like that. I'm buckling through, and then I bend it like that. Okay, I'm going to do one more. We'll do it through. Now, if I do it this way, see what happens? It's, 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 it'll be folded weird. You go back like this and down, tuck it underneath. Now the reason you do that is that these can actually, if they pull back and forth this way, while it's buckled, I'll do this one. If this is buckled and it's not that tight, and they pull back and they pull back and forth. See what happens? Eventually, there it goes. See it going? So you're pulling shorter and shorter. Give it enough time. And if you put them in a padded cell for an hour, they'll have enough time. <laughs> so give it enough time, they will get this off. So um, that's the reason why you've got to get this snug first so that they can't, can't have slack. But also, if you can, get it under there. Now, some people are a little heavier and they fit differently. So sometimes you can't do that. Then you just do the best you can. Um, now, at the end, after you've done all of them all the way down and the crotch strap, you go to the top one and do it. Same, same thing. If you can. I'm going to show you the arms. Now, the arms 
There are loops in the front, sometimes they're in the side, um, sometimes they're in both the front and the sides. So the arms are going to go through any place there's loops, the arms will go through that. And uh, we'll show that when it's actually demonstrated on a person, me. So, so let's say that, that uh, you get to the back. Again, you do the same thing. You've got to bend that back a bit. Go through. Make sure that this isn't twisted backwards. Make sure this isn't twisted backwards. Um, sometimes this comes out in this direction. You no, know, you don't want to do that. Don't, don't go backwards with it. Make sure it's forwards. Um, get through. Don't forget to put it through the last buckle, part of the buckle, because if you don't, if you don't, they're going to get out. Now you have all this extra, right? All this extra you're going to take around this way, down underneath, and this should be snug. And then you have, an, if you have enough extra, which you usually do, take it back up through like that. Pull it tight. You've just tied it in a knot, and uh, they're not getting out <laughs> about that. They just won't. They'll be the last a long time in it. So I'm going to show you some things using humane restraints that can be used in conjunction with a straitjacket. So sometimes after you get them into the straitjacket, you're like this, you want to bring them and get them down. Now this would be done in the padded cell because they're going to go on their knees. So they're in the straitjacket, you have them go, you know, you're going to have them go down and, and flat down. But before you do it, you're going to use this on them if you want to put them into a hog cell. Okay, this is a uh, a leather uh, belly restraint. Normally the handcuffs would go through this part and it's very simple because all you're gonna all you all you do is again assume my straitjacket was on. So so you tighten it around the person who already has the straitjacket on. You make sure it goes through the keeper and give enough slack. One of the things that can happen, and you've got to watch this, is that this can get loose and it gets kind of under them and it's, uh, it's quite uncomfortable. So now you have, this, you have this nice loop in the back. You're then going to put, use the humane restraints on their legs and then you'll use a strap and pull it up and we'll show you that in a moment. So these are humane restraint uh, cuffs and to know which ones to use on the ankle is look inside the the, the, uh, the cuff, and uh, if it's labeled and says ankle, this is the one you use on the ankle. And um, so look, there's two, they say ankle, and then you'll know, put them on the ankle. Um, now, so, so these are connected like this. There's a, uh, there's a staple right there. You put it through the staple around the, you know, they're around the leg. And now this piece might be turned around backwards. So you've got to look at it and make sure it's not turned around backwards. It goes through the staple, not over the top, through the staple, and then it has to go through the lock. And there's just one hole in there. So you've got to find the hole and it won't be perfectly taut here. This is what holds it. And then you're going to find the hole and press and make sure it's locked. Because if you don't get it all the way, it might just pop off again. So when you unlock it, this is the key that we use for it. And the key goes in. There's little notches. The key goes in. You turn it. You actually press. You press and you turn it, and it pops out. Let me do it again. So you go in. You press, turn it, then it pops out. Okay, this isn't something where you go mm, trying to turn it to unlock it. You just press and turn and it just pops up. So this is something that before you use this on an inmate, practice using the key because if you're going to be an officer, um, it would be good not to look stupid. Now, um, so, so, so first, okay, so, so let's say this is hooked and locked in. The... Uh, Takes a minute. So this staple can be then used for a second, uh, a second strap can be used through here to connect things. So in, in the case of, of the 
of the straight jacket, we would be connecting two of these that, that are uh, put together. Once they're connected for the hog tie, you're going to find the right length strap. And uh, let's go ahead and connect it, actually, Boom. so you can see. Right there. So um, again, making sure that it's straight. So let's let's say you connect it and get the hit, you know make it really get the legs really nice and close together. So go to the we'll go to the last one. So, so there's that much space, and this would have been hooked up. And so then you take the one that's going to go to the back. Um, not through here, but through the whole thing around it. So that when it pulls up, it's pulling all of it up. And not just one part of it. This is going to be stronger. It's going to be less wear and tear on the locks. If, if the, for doing a hog tie, if it's, if this is too long, because you can see how long this is and their legs don't go up very far and they can, and they're more flexible, then you might have to, you know, go around twice and then connect it. Now the other end is going to go through the, uh, the other end of course is going to go through the loop that's around their waist and that's going to hold the legs up. We'll show that again in a demonstration. Okay, we have our, uh, our doctor here who's going to put me in. So, so there is the arms in it. Let's show the back. So you'll notice he'll start by strapping the second one down. By the way, we're doing this in our courtroom. I don't think we've ever put an inmate in a straitjacket in the courtroom, but I suppose that could happen during a scenario. Now, generally, they go in the padded cell, but for space and to de demonstrate this, it, we needed room for the camera so you'd see it. So when you put the straitjacket on, take your time. Think it through and go ahead and take your time and make sure it's done properly. If the inmate is struggling too much for you to put it on, just tell him to lighten up. How about that? <laughs> and just do not struggle so much. No. This is role play. So, so if they're going too far, tell them so. We don't want someone getting hurt or any hurt backs. Just tell them. This is play. So, this particular straitjacket has two crotch straps. I think it's the only one that we use that has two and not one. So you go make so you have to kind of make sure which one's which. Crotch strap does not have to be overly tight. The object of the crotch strap is to prevent them from pulling it up over their heads. But snug is good. Snug is yes. Snug is good. It should be snug. Um, the less they're able to, to jiggle things, the less chance that the straps will come undone. Because they have no play. Okay. So let's turn around to the front. Remember I mentioned the belly loop? There it is. Now this one has a loop in the front. It doesn't have one on the side. However, this particular one does have a place where you can actually put one through in the back. If you look around, you'll find there's a place. Yeah. And so, uh, so here we go. I'm going to do the front. So this is okay. This is where a lot of mistakes are made by people first applying jackets. A lot of times you'll see a jacket, especially with an escape artist, where they do this over the. This means you can easily yep. slip the hand down. Little, little ways so we can see. See the difference. See, see how they're just like this. They're not crossed. So let's show how it's properly done. First of all, in through the uh, in through the uh, the thing. <clears throat> now show improper first. Improper would be this. Now we'll show the proper way. Tuck it under. You see the difference? Now my hand is underneath the other arm. And once it's strapped, I can't pull it above me. Now, we're going to show you the hog tie. 
So what do we do? First thing with this system is put the belly chain or belly belt on first. Because if you put it on first, before I, if I'm down on the ground, you've got to get underneath me and lift me up. It's going to be a lot easier just to put it around me now. Okay? So just put it around. Make sure it's above the hip. So now to get me down, we're going into say the padded cell. You know, it's it's soft, so they're not going to really hurt themselves, but they feel like they're going to. So so they go on their knees first, and then they kind of face plant. But um, you help the person go down and watch your back as you do it, that you don't hurt your back. And and then they then they land. This will be soft and tender, all right? So now I'm on the ground, and. Uh, and you could leave them in the straight in the uh, pedestal like this, but we're going to show you how to put them into a hog tie. So here we go. So we have the we have this belt on me, and uh, so let's go for it. Yeah. So he's taking the shortest straps that we have. So there's the shortest straps we have, and and now the next thing you'll do is you'll take one. Let's take the long ones. It shows how you do this. One. So. So different people are different for how far they can do their legs. Some people can only go this far. I can go this far, and some people can go even more than me. Um, so, so we're they, so he's he's putting the strap through. This is see this is fairly loose. I'll redo this in a moment so I can double loop it. But now yeah. you can see. Right. Now that's that's loose, and if you get it too loose, they're going to kick this way, and that is going to actually be dangerous. Yeah, it's going to be hard on the equipment because they can get get a lot of leverage. So you want to get it to where it's snug enough to where they can't kick around and do this because they will break the equipment. And at sixty-five dollars per strap, that can get expensive. So here we go. Let's we're now going to show. Uh, the proper the proper way to do it. So, the different people are going to be different for how far their legs go. But you want to take it about as far as they can go. <laughs> so he's bringing it around twice. And then you just keep snugging it up again. Take your time. If you need to, you can even push their legs down against their body, and that'll give you more. You can kind of push, push the whole. Yeah, if you push the whole leg down, you can sometimes even get more from them. And uh, um, so, see, now there's, you know, there's less play. So now I'm in like this, inside the padded cell. I'm going to be able to go sideways like that. I'm going to be able to go on my back, uh, and most people will. On all sides, so most people will be able to do all of that, and uh, but they're not going to get out. So anyway, this uh, so that that's the application of a straitjacket. Um, uh, the main thing, though, is always do this safely. When we when we do it on the application of a straitjacket, this is this is this is the way they used to apply straitjackets if they wanted to put them into a hog tie position. The only difference is that I use the the uh, strap in the back, the leather strap in the back, because that is um, is easier on the equipment um, to not to not rip the straitjacket by using that belly uh, belly, chain. belly belt right. Yeah. Um, so and that's up. highly recommended if you do this with somebody. Um, again, be very careful and very safe because because in this position you can get cramps, things like that. So uh, uh, just just make sure that everything is safe. All right, this is okay. this, this is, is a uh, humane humane restraint straight jacket. We have different ones. I'm just going to show you this one, another example. So put your hands in. This one also has a loop in the right front, as you can see. 
So I'm going to put it back behind him. Now this one only has three straps. It's really simple. There's a little blue ring here. And you're going to put it through the ring, go back, strap it shut. Now I'm doing, the, I'm doing the top one here as opposed to the other, but I'm leaving the top one loose. And I'll come back to that in a moment. So, um, so this, to keep it there, this was strapped, just undo the strap, put it through there, and then strap it shut. Actually, I should show that other one too, yeah, um, how that works. So, so those, that's how these, these work. You just, these straps are, are strapped together just so they don't fall out. They strap in, strap it shut. The, uh, uh, and then there's a keeper. In the very bottom, hopefully you can see it, there are two little loop things, loop thingy things. And in the first front, there's one. And so the way you do this is, back up. The way you do this is, it has a little, a little snappy thing. Pull the sap all the way up, yep. and uh, um, and this is uh, actually in wrong because that yeah. would go wrong. So uh, meanwhile, so you take this this thing here, you put it through through the little loop, and then leave the that's the wrong too. You take it through through the little loop. This one we don't use that often because it's a pain. All right, so, so there's the little snappy snap thing facing this way. You leave it there. Now you're going to take it around under the crotch. Be careful because we don't want you doing anything that would be inappropriate. Put, put it through both of these loops on both sides. And then you're going to go back down. And you can pull pretty tight here because the snappy snap thing. <laughs> Turn around again. This way. It's not going to come back through because that's holding it. That, this, this one's holding it. So you can pull this through and the back through and you'll be all right. And now this is going to, you're going to undo the snap, push that through, and now you just pull, pull down like that. So you can't pull, pull, pull through. So let's put the arms through quickly. Arm through. Arm through. To this one. And through underneath the arm. Like that. Under one. You want to do that under. one? Yeah. Get that piece under. All right. One of them is no under. Now we turn around. This has a little uh, grommet on the side. We're going to just take the strap, take, it, take this through the grommet, make sure that it's even with the back, through the grommet, and then it's got to go back to to a, to a buckle here, and then you're going to buckle it back. This this one will fit someone a little more portly, and there you have it. And then now, now that that's all done, I'm going to take this and, and tighten it to where it belongs. It was actually just about right. Um, the straight jacket is not a jacket that has to wrap all the way around. If this is a restraint, this is what this is for. That is an actual real restraint that's used. So now, if I was to do the belly belt, now he's going to feel like he's going to drop. You see how my legs are, are holding him down, and I'm going to use my knees to go down. Okay, so he goes down. See how I got him down easily? Hold him here, and him down here. And I saw that this is a little loose. At this point, I can tighten it. <laughs> All right, you okay? Yep. They might need a pillow. Now, someone who is more heavy, um, doing a hog tie can be dangerous. So you can't do it for really long because because um, the weight on the chest can be can be harmful for breathing. Now you're not that heavy, um, but but that's something to to watch out with if you had someone who was heavier. So this goes through, and snap it shut, and grab the other one. You okay? Yep. Now 
Because I'm checking, and if he says no, what do you do? Get it all off. Or you adjust whatever needs to be adjusted. You get the staples so they're facing each other. You take the short strap. Always make sure there's a key handy, by the way. I take the short strap. I will take it to the shortest setting that I can in this case because I want to make it, make it tough on him. He's, he's, he's uh, pretty stuck. Now, in this case, I'm going to take this length. I go back through the entire thing down here. I go through the loop. I find one of the ones I want to connect to. He's probably not as flexible. So, so then I'm going to ask, is this comfortable? Yeah, it's OK. That's OK? Yeah. There you go. Now, try and get away. So you can roll, you can roll it at the back and sides. You okay? Yep. All right. Um, the, the, the stress is on this, not on a strap. And, uh, and he's, he's pretty safely secured and uh, we got you good. How does that feel? That good? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we'll get you back out. And we can reverse it. Undo the strap. Before he gets up, you want the legs free. It's really hard to get up when your legs are connected together. So uh, uh, we want to make sure, again, safety is always the first thing you have to think of. Um, uh, often if there's role playing, he's going to he's going to be pretending that he's mentally ill and crazy and all that fun stuff. So now I tell him turn to the side, go back. I can undo the belt. Just just uh, um, and then roll back in this case and just see where things are. Take the belt out. First thing I'm going to do, unstrap his arms. Now, what I'm going to do is, now he just did it, but if he didn't know to do that, I would say turn to your side and pull it out. And there you go. You help a little bit. And now, in this case, he could get up, but hey, there's only, there's only three straps here. Yeah. So take through the sweeper. Um, the, the, the crotch strap you don't really have to worry about because when it gets up, you'll see what happens. And putting someone in a straight jacket is a quite a bit of work. Now, when you're done, um, later on, make sure the straps don't get lost. And so at the end, um, and not while they're in it, but when you get them done, just, just strap it back in. Okay, so now tell them to get up. So go ahead and get up. Help them up. If they've been on the ground for a while, they may not be steady. So now, you make sure they're steady. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, so now they're standing up. Now I can go, they can just slip it off. Or just I, can, I can take this, this crotch strap, squeeze, uh, squeeze, get them done. Get it back through back here. Or I can just slip it off. Yeah, you can slip it off. And then just be careful where you do it. They, yeah, they slip it off. But if they do, they're going to step through. And again, make sure, make sure they're steady. Well, you upstage me. Yes. Make sure that they're steady and are not falling. Because if you've been on the ground for a while, you know, you've got to get up on the ground and get up really quick. You're all dizzy. Yeah. So make sure they're steady. Make sure they're safe. And, uh, and then once they are, um, you secure them, get them back to their cell and continue the role play.